Good day traders, one minute mindset reset. Today we're talking about how much do you want to lose? Risk management. So a really common question that I've been getting asked is to review or talk about risk management. And uh, I, I have mixed uh, feelings about risk management. Uh, a lot of people uh, have a standard approach where they talk about risking 1% on a trade, 2% on a trade, whatever that may be. Um, my ultimate question each and every day and to each one of you is how much money do you want to lose on any given day? And if you are going to the screen uh, thinking about how much you can make uh, as opposed to executing your best trade setups or even discussing with yourself being the silent observer how much do you want to lose uh, is a better question. And I talk about blowing up accounts, uh, waking up the next day, and, and asking yourself in advance, how do you want to feel tomorrow when you come to the screen about how you've traded and behaved and managed your capital today? And I think the ultimate question is, is each and every trade, how much do you want to lose on that trade? That's the first part. And after that, what traders fail to also understand is that, I talk about this all the time, locking in your profits and getting off the screen. So the next part of that equation is uh, you can risk 1% on a trade, but if you're taking 10 trades and you lose 10 in a row because you've gone on tilt, then you've just lost 10%. And, you know, so there's a, there's a multitude of, of components to risk management. And ultimately what traders never backtest in the solitude and quiet of their home on the weekends when they're quietly going through and people asking all the time, what are your backtesting results? And, you know, show us... You know, they're obsessed with entry and exits. But see, here's the problem. When you get into live time, this is my favorite quote from Mike Tyson, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. And this is why, this is why retail traders will fail because they don't really understand the power of sticking to the process and having, you know, your simple approach and executing simple trade setups and getting off the screen. I, I stick to a, a really tight time window. And I know if I'm looking at the screen outside of my timing window that there are all kinds of things that can happen. Yes, there are trade opportunities, uh, but certain, certain times, certain days, certain types of setups over the course of the day are designed to trap you into stuff down low. And, and the moment you get in thinking it's about to crap the bed, bang, they, they reverse the market and you're 25 pips underwater. Uh, regardless, it depends on the instrument you're trading and everything else, or you get into something and it's not moving and you're sitting there for three hours. So risk management has a lot of components. It's not just about, I'm going to risk 1% on every trade. You know, I, I talked about this in earlier videos. Do you even really have an edge or are you just trading this system that, that you think has an edge and you're trading it all the time. And at the end of the day, you're always uh, neutral or slightly red or slightly green, but you don't really make any money. Uh, and, and then you go on to tilt out of frustration, impatience, impulsiveness, anger, revenge, all those things, and you blow out and blow your whole account up because you've stuck to your plan for two months, you, you did 1% per trade, and you haven't made any money. And 1% per trade is, you know, if you're managing a, a fund and you're running multiple systems or multiple trades and, and you've got your edge, your expectation, is always producing some sort of percentage of gain. That's entirely different. As a retail trader, usually trading a small account. I keep a, a reasonably uh, small account in place, which is large enough to meet my trading objectives. And I take that money out and keep it at a certain size so that I don't over leverage on trades. And if I do blow out, or hopefully if I don't, if I, if I don't manage things properly, if there's ever, then there's always the, the risk of you going into tilt. The, the mother of all losses, Peter Brandt talks about this, the mother of all losses is always just around the corner. And so part of protecting myself is keeping my account at a certain size that allows me to trade the size that I want. If I need to put money in on certain trade opportunities, we get a level three, you know, and it's, a, it's potentially going to be a massive day, I may put more money into that account to give me more size as the trades in process. But risk management, uh, you know, ultimately as a retail trader, it's a double-edged sword because in order for you to make money, I mean real serious money, 
you're going to be taking on risk that doesn't fit into that 1% category. When my trades are wrong, and I talk about stacking the odds, and I know there's traders out there who are going to message me about all of this and blah, 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 blah. If you stack the odds in your favor, you know, I consider a, a, a trade that, you know, they go right away. And everybody knows that now. If you've been following me long enough, you know when these trades are right, they don't sit around, they go right away, and you're out or you're, you're in the move. Uh, when you're wrong and it's, it's not going, I cut it. Like, I already know. And I'm not sizing into a trade that's a 50-50. I'm going to size into a trade where, where it's ready to either blow through the roof or it's going to crap the bed. And that's it. And, and otherwise, during if it's just a normal, you know, 25, 50 pip move, I'm going to take a position. I'm going to monitor that it's behaving properly. I may add a bit more in as it's going, but I'm going to be taking money off. I'm going to be locking it in. And I'm going to get off the screen. So risk management is, yes, you're going to risk a certain, how much do you want to lose? And then the second part of that is, can you actually manage yourself? Because you're the biggest risk. <laughs> you're the biggest risk to your whole trading plan. And that's the key thing to understand when you're back testing with all your great little entry exit strategies is that, are you back testing yourself? Because you're the biggest risk to your whole, you know, capital base. So. How much do you want to lose and can you manage yourself because you're the biggest risk to blowing out your trading account. So hopefully you got value from today's video traders. How much do you want to lose and can you manage yourself in live time that you won't blow out your account. Have a great trading session. Make today the best trading day so far this week. We've already had some big moves middle of the week. Keep it going and may the markets go with you.